Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. Do you know in science it's always been really interesting to use electricity and wires to light up a light bulb, but because of new materials it just got a lot easier. Using a roll of metal tape that you can find at pretty much any hardware store, round flat 3 volt batteries, a piece of paper, scissors, and these really cool LED lights, we can make something called a paper circuit. And that's the big idea today. Today we're going to show you how to make circuits on paper. So where do we start? Well, we start with a piece of paper. So I want to start by drawing my circuit. Now, keep in mind that I need to be able to turn my circuit on and off to complete the circuit. So to do that, I'm going to use a little corner of the paper as a little switch. So I put my battery by the corner and I'm just going to trace that battery. It does not have to be perfect. And now I put another circle opposite the battery so it's lined up. Now here's a really important part. It's important to realize that the battery has two sides. There's a positive side and a negative side. And I know there's a positive side because there's a little plus sign that lets me know. So I want the bottom to be the negative side. That's where that part of the battery sits. And when I fold the top down, the top's going to be hitting the positive side. So I'm going to put a positive sign there two sides of my battery. So you can see I have the spot where my battery is going to go. Now I need to draw the path that the electricity will follow and in science we call that our circuit. We're going to need to draw our circuit. So I can make my path go any direction I want. So I'm just going to bring this line down and over and I'm going to take this line over and down and I'm going to put a light bulb right here, an LED light bulb to span that path and connect the two. Now all I need to do is lay down this metal tape along that path and that metal tape will conduct the electricity. But you'll notice this metal tape is way too thick for my lines, so I'm going to cut strips out of this metal tape to make it easier to work with. Alright, so now I'm ready to stick my tape to my path. The nice thing about this tape, it's not sticky yet until I pull off the backing. So to do that, it's a little tricky. What I like to do is take the corner and fold it down, then open that back up, fold it the back way, and now I can see it separates in just that corner and it allows me to pull that off. Now I don't want to pull all of it off, just enough to get me started. So where do I start? Well, I'm going to start with my negative leg here of my path, and I want to put the foil right into the center of that where that battery is going to sit so I know I have a nice solid contact. And now and pull the backing off as I slide and I get to my corner and what do I do? Well, a lot of people think I can just cut it and run another leg of my metal tape, but really the glue on the back of the tape actually prevents the electricity from flowing really well, so we're going to corner this. How do I do that? Well, if I'm going this way in my path, all I'm going to do is angle and fold my tape the opposite direction. So let me move this little tab so you can see what I'm doing here. A little more. So you can see I put an angle fold right on the tape. So how do I get going that direction? Well now I'm going to fold it again, pull the backing off, use a pencil to help me if I need to. And we're going to zoom in so you can see what that corner looks like once we're done. Take it all the way down, and my metal tape's a little long, so I'll just cut it. We've zoomed in so you can take a closer look at how we cornered there. Remember, that glue could actually stop the electricity from flowing, so it's really important to have metal-on-metal -metal contact. So you'll notice I can pull that corner up, I just push it back down, and I know now the metal is touching. Now keep in mind, if I need to add a little bit of extra metal tape, I don't want just a tiny overlap. I want a lot of overlap to make sure there's plenty of contact metal to metal. So I'm going to start way back here and now pull it out. But you'll notice I have a little gap in my pathways. Well, that's because that light bulb we're going to put in right in the gap and that light bulb is going to connect the pathway and the electricity is going to flow through the light bulb lighting it up on our paper circuit. So we've zoomed in so you can see our light bulb. Now, 
The thing to notice is that the light bulb has two wires coming out of the bottom. Why two wires? Well, remember our battery? Our battery has two sides, a positive and a negative side. And just like the battery has a positive and negative side, the wires coming out of our light bulb are positive and negative. If I hold the light bulb up, you'll notice one wire is longer than the other one. Well, that longer wire is the positive side. Watch what happens when I match the positive wire of the light bulb to the positive side of the battery and the negative to the negative. When I slide it on correctly, my light bulb lights up. If I spin my light bulb and I have the negative wire on the positive side, nothing happens. So when I put my light bulb down, I have to make sure the positive side of the light bulb is in contact with the positive arm in my circuit. So we've zoomed in on our circuit and we want to make it easier for you to see the light bulb when it's lit up without my fingers being in the way. So I'm actually going to tape my light bulb in place. Now you could use any tape, but since I have the metal tape, all I'm going to do is cut a little section, make sure the metal wire of the light bulb goes onto the other metal pathway, press it down really well, and now do the other wire. We'll check it to see if it works, and it lights up. So let's review what we have here. We have electricity in our battery, and instead of using wires, we use this metal tape, and the electricity is going to flow through that tape. It's going to flow through the light bulb, and we can turn that light bulb on and off. Well, that kind of reminds me of something. This little thing to turn the electricity on and off it's actually a switch, just like you have in the walls of your house. Think about this. This could be the light in your bedroom, and you have a switch on the wall. And when you turn that switch on, the light goes on. When you turn the switch off, the light goes off. Well, really what's happening is exactly this. The switch opens or closes the circuit. So we started with simple circuits, and the only thing that may be a little hard to find are these LED light bulbs. And we put a link in our video description so you know where you can get some if you wanted to try this on your own. Now we also have other videos that talk about making circuits that are a lot more complicated, well, something like this. You can still see I've used metal tape, but instead of one light bulb, we have one, two, three, four. It looks complicated, but it's really not that much more complicated, but it is a lot more cool. So I can take my paper circuit and have something that lights up like a jar of fireflies. Science is so cool. Thanks for watching.